Okay, I guess we're starting the recording here. Um, Prince of Egypt. Uh, Prince. I've seen this movie a long time ago when I was young. Yeah, I haven't seen um, it since it was on VHS. <laughs> we're both sick. We're both unrelated. Uh, and uh, yeah, we're watching it for the podcast. Where's the timer? Well, let me just pull that up. And Ooh. that's not what... Uh, the Prince of Egypt. Welcome to uh, Two Sick Boys Watch a Movie and Cough. ASMR. It's coughing time. <laughs> there we go. Um, <laughs> yeah, this was Alex's recommendation. So we both have the plague. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They set the pestilence, the plague upon us. All right, I think I've got subtitles dick, here. Right? Just confirming my subtitles. Uh, how do I do this? Where is? Oh yes, yeah, subtitles. Right, right. That's probably a good idea. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I have subtitles. Mm. Okay. Uh, your version is one second longer. Well, I guess you're screwed. Yeah. You're gonna well, have to die now. Yeah. Wait. Mine is one second shorter i don't think it matters okay i think it's fine um okay uh i guess everybody we're all ready spaghetti uh well how did size size m9 i don't know how the fuck you manage that my copy starts with um the universal logo so right. it just starts with the universal uh, logo. That's it. And it's probably, mine does too. if you have a difference in time, it's probably a difference in the end credits. It's probably fine. So, uh, <clears throat> they yep. probably had to remove the name, uh, Weinstein. Yeah, they have to remove the name Weinstein. <laughs> and that took a second. Yeah. Get rid of Bob. He knows what he did. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you um, dissing on Tori? She knows what she did. Okay. Woo. Sorry about the uh, scuffed starting here. I'm just opening up my notes. The Prince of Egypt. If right. this was all about horses, it would be called the Prince of Egypt. Okay. We're going to start this. And I guess you'll start with a halfway between one and zero. Everybody else start on the tongue click. Okay. Three, two, one. Here we go. So Universal logo. Yes. Is Universal still in business? Yeah, they are. They made the Jurassic Park movies. Oh, Jurassic right. Worlds. Right. Right. Is that like their only thing that mm -hmm. they're like hanging on to at the moment? I mean, it's a big property. Uh, okay. They made Cocaine Bear, I guess. <laughs> yeah. I really, really love the new DreamWorks <clears throat> uh, opening that's in Puss. In Puss. Puss, yeah. So at the time, I think this was the most expensive animated movie ever made. Really? When did this at the come time out? It was ninety-eight. Not Final Fantasy. The story. Well, artist, artistic and historical license has been taken. We believe that this film is true to the essence, values, and integrity of the story that is a cornerstone for faith for millions of people. The biblical story of Moses can be found at the time. Ah, all Exodus. I get it. <clears throat> Final Fantasy was after? Oh, well, today I learned. Because I knew Final Fantasy cost like a billion jillion and didn't even remotely get close to making it back. Clouds look great.
I honestly can't tell if that's like drawn or if. <laughs> okay, never mind. Mud! <laughs> that's the first line. <laughs> Water. Ah! These lyrics are a little simple. Jet. They start singing like editor's note, change this later. Yeah. Yo, where's the aliens? <laughs> this is the first time I'm watching this with subtitles. Birdie. How come like how come it doesn't mean. matter if she's speaking in Hebrew? <laughs> how come we don't get those subtitles? Ah. Got her. Why are they killing baby? Cause it's, it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> the gods were like, you know what today? Today we kill baby. I think the context of me watching this the first time was I was in like a church youth thing. I think we watched this like in confirmation class or some shit. I was definitely in a church when I watched this. <laughs> I am watching it in 4K. Bye. So cute. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. That baby just pooped. Yeah, what was her plan here? I need to save God's my baby. God's dealing with it. <laughs> God's got it. Yeah, I hope <laughs> I hope you tested the buoyancy of that basket before <laughs> <laughs> or the leakage. Yeah. Uh, baby. Yeah. <laughs> and this is a little chaotic. <laughs> what a crocodile trying to all, try to all eat in the same spot. A basket on the water. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the baby's like thrown up from all the bumping and yo where are the furries at what a waste of animation 
Where's the fairy mascot character? What's the point of having it animated if you're just going to show dumb humans? Just make it live action. Why is her neck so long? Wow! That baby gave her the, uh, fuck me eyes. A lot of people stand this movie, like, really hard. I mean, the music's great so far. Yeah. You there, peasant girl. God, she's so tall. Oh, oh. Take the baby. I found a new baby. (laughs) Sorry. Jeff. (laughs) (laughs) I shall call you Jeff. We got all this mud and concrete. What do you want to do with it? Ah, build, build a giant face, please. Hum. Why do they say hum? Because they built something in their throats. I like how Ramesses' hairstyle hasn't changed from, like, age two. (laughs) We got the exact same hair. (laughs) It's it's so we know that he's the baby. I mean, it it might might be like a birth defect, like hair doesn't (laughs) grow anywhere else. Yeah, it's alopecia. Is that real fun? But Ramses has a flat butt. These horses look the the horses look so weirdly proportioned. This is so bizarre. Oh Tokyo Drift. He's happy. They're just killing a lot of people. Oh, Patrick Stewart. Two dudes on the right are just so obviously going to be bad guys. What do you mean? They're they're very 
short, <laughs> short and fat, skinny and tall. <laughs> Name a more uh, iconic duo. <laughs> thin, thin eye lines. <coughs> yeah, it is. Wario and Waluigi. <laughs> wow. Uh-huh, you're weak. I haven't aged in 16 years. I'm a woman. How old are they? Uh, I don't know. Adult age? More than 16? I, I, I would say 17, 18, maybe. Father. <coughs> yes. Oh, I get it. Smasher pass Anubis? Is is there like a canonical anubis or are we just talking just anubis from all the furry porn i was gonna say if it's if it's the latter smash i've i've definitely seen ways that anubis was drawn where i would smash yes These accents are funny, considering. <laughs> His mic is a little peaky. It's not set right. Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha. Pouring things on other people. I'm doing it me. anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, ah, so it's a wig. <coughs> Excuse me. Hoi. Hoi. Uh -huh. Go get her. Uh, I will. A camel. They're going to fuck that camel. <laughs> and what a camel. Damn. 
Ooh. She has very distinct Her eyes. facial features are similar to Jasmine. other DreamWorks characters that I've seen. The Dreamer the DreamWorks style is kind of funny, the 2D animated. Mm. I'm getting flashbacks to like uh Road Sinbad? to El Dorado. Ah! Ha <laughs> uh, ha! She's no, wet. I'm wet. <laughs> Have her beaten. <laughs> Everyone can hear each other pretty well in the room. <laughs> Even though there's a lot of people there. <laughs> Did he just bite his lip? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to have yeah. sex with him? <laughs> I would would you like more, sir? <laughs> A man. <laughs> what do you mean? You just fell into some. Whee! That fucking Sandra Bullock. Is it? <laughs> I I I know her voice because I saw like Miss Congeniality. Like, it is. Oh my times. god. <laughs> Sandy what? Bullocks. Sandy Bullock. Ah! Jeff. Oh, yeah, yeah, Jeff. Hefe. A, a Ron. The casting is weird. Yeah, I think they just got stars. So they could say, my movie have Jeff Goldblum. But they didn't really do that at the point at that point in time. They didn't really show the names of the actors and advertise they didn't They didn't do that, that much in nineteen nineties. I think it was because it was their first and they needed to get butts and seats. Ooh. Uh, oh, my wrist. That deliver this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Get 
kick the baby before <laughs> it's born. Baby, baby, baby. Maybe if she sung the Hebrew version, he'd recognize it. I this. <laughs> I'm not having a negative experience with this movie, but I can tell it's something that I'm like not going to take super serious. I'm I. Oh yeah, it's it, this is something that people might get mad at me over <laughs> of just me not being super one hundred percent invested and in crying in every scene, you know? Because people stand this movie hard. What are we supposed to be crying because she's crying? Because he he was following some poon, and he found his sister. That's very emotional. <laughs> Ah, oh, please, Prince, I'm too old. I, I should also mention, like, a lot of people, like, maybe, maybe there's scenes, like, coming up. But a lot of people consider this to have like some of the best like animation ever. And in those scenes near the beginning, like, yeah, there was a lot of spectacle. Mm -hmm. But it didn't like gel together all that well. You could really tell that it was like CG with the 2D. Whereas like four years before in the Lion King stampede scene, like they used CG in that scene. You couldn't tell it was CG. Like it it melded together perfectly with the visuals whereas like this just has these weird like okay like that seems off and like the proportions seem weird there and like you can really pick out which things in the environment are separate um so i don't know yeah we'll we'll see it, it might be one of those seven out of ten get the rope <laughs> <laughs> movies, you know? Hey, I might give it a six. We'll see how it goes. Do it. Do it for the lulls. I thought the beard he'd look like a girl. No. Is it the mascara? Is he going to have a dream about being a baby? What? Oh, uh, Egypt. But they'll never find me here. That was a stock sound effect. Yeah. The scream. Oh. Now. Ah! Uh -huh. Give you a haircut. I'm just trying to think in the grand scheme of DreamWorks movies in like the entire repertoire of DreamWorks 2D animated films. What do I have to compare this against? Because right. I have positive memories of Road to El Dorado. I, I want to watch that again. Yeah, let's do that. But like what else is there? What else Didn't is there I... that takes itself this seriously? And has this much spectacle. Sinbad. I never watched Sinbad. Oh, it was it was good and but it has like a lot of spectacle like this, because it's like a big adventure movie. The horse movie, yeah. <laughs> I haven't seen Spirit. I haven't seen Spirit. Uh, baby. Oh. They showed penises. 
Well, yes, baby have penis. <laughs> I'm going to get this day that I ordered thousands of children murdered <laughs> painted on the wall. <clears throat> Sorry. Right? <laughs> 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 it sort of affects the prime directive there, Patrick. <laughs> Moses had a different interpretation Ooh. of the wall painting before. Huh. I've been abusing slaves, but now that they were babies, that's too far. Yeah, it was a real cave caveman brain situation. <laughs> I really wanted a new baby. Yes. <laughs> yeah, th this is the most like <laughs> self serious DreamWorks movie. I'm trying to... I, I don't think there's a single other DreamWorks movie that takes itself this seriously. Yeah. Right? Well, I think they wanted to take it seriously because Bible and didn't want to get people saying, oh, they're not taking the source material. True. They Mel Gibson I mean comes out of nowhere. Chest starts starts yelling. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> uh -huh. Now it affects me because I'm one of them. Nah, what the? Just making it more difficult. Okay. <laughs> Look at him get whipped, Moses. I'm here too. What? I've just learned that this is bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Every other time he's been like, ah, silly slaves, work harder and don't get whipped. What? I'm sure he's fine. He landed on the scene. Uh, the other guy. Yeah. Points to the old man. It would be consistent if he blamed Ramesses. That'd be funny. And then Ramesses well, it was like, well, <laughs> if they're going to blame me anyway, I guess I'll just throw one down. Yeah, I guess I'll just throw another guard down. <laughs> and then they laugh. <laughs> See, 
Damn, I would love cost. for him to just say, like, as he's before he runs away, he just turns. He's like, "You don't get it. Slavery is bad." Yeah. <laughs> and runs away. What if it was us? <laughs> the horse proportions are so weird. They also like don't really move independently that much. <laughs> <laughs> They're both kind of like copy and paste. I thought slavery was hip and cool. <laughs> Ooh. Dad, what the fuck's Moses talking about? What were you see, son? I killed a lot of baby. And Moses took offense to that. That's a funny run. <laughs> In the actual Bible story, I'm pretty sure Moses beats the guy to death with his own whip. Why didn't we see that? That that would have been much better. In the original manga, he whipped. <laughs> Uh, uh, a slight incline. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, it's Uncharted 3. The best one. Fight me. I will. But not now. Oh, that looked painful. Yeah, that looked, uh, wouldn't that? No, I'll keep that. It's shiny. <laughs> Stupid wig. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Pubic hair. Yep. Uh. Why? Why does he not suffocate? Oh, look at that juicy bag. He got out of that pretty fucking yeah. effortlessly. Like, holy shit. He would also get trampled right now. There's no way you just... <laughs> oh. I don't think that's how oh. sheep drink, but okay. That's yeah, a very good. bizarre scooping from the top of your mouth animation. <laughs> they really they really did yeah. not have any reference material for sheep's drinking. Yeah. They really they didn't show the animators any clips for that one. <laughs> <laughs> Now is he going to beat people up with whips? Oh no, not our camels. He's so dreamy. 
Oh. Oh, now he's Joseph. I'm the Joseph, baby. <laughs> The Joker. <laughs> <laughs> Funny man. Why do we fall, Master? They Ryan? really... Whoever did her hair animations doing that really smooth. That's pretty good. It's moving all around. It's good physics. Look at that shit. Oh. Damn. That's all women should aspire to. Getting married. Yeah. Clean the cheeks. My innards. <laughs> yeah. Oh. It's getting a colonic. Yeah. <laughs> oh. When the water's clear, you're clear. My father. What's a Midian? Is that Michelle Pfeiffer's character? Probably. I haven't heard her talk enough. No. Ah. Are <clears throat> Is that Danny Glover? I think that's Danny Glover. That'd be funny if it was Danny Glover. Is his name Jethro? Yeah. That's Danny Glover. <laughs> that's funny. I'm too old for this shit. Stock laugh. Stock children laugh. Forest for the trees. I get it. Yes. One of those uh, instrument players was like two frames repeated. We have to get married first. Yeah. You are now married. <laughs> Dancing with a child would be a sin. You have to marry them first. Lie, lie, lie. Uh, why would you waste the unintentional so much commentary? Water? It was like when Frodo needed a bit. Oh my. That sheep is way too clean for just coming out of mama. I think I it's like It's a miracle. Him. He said all of two lines. Oh no, he's going to marry the sheep. <laughs> <laughs> Where? I thought that was a big watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now he's gambling with the child he's going to marry. Oh. oh, there's a weird audio edit there. I don't know. I look at her and I just see Esmeralda. For, is, am I racist? Which one's Esmeralda again? Mm, Quasimodo. From Hunchback. I mean, there's some similarities. Oh, now they're married. 
They danced and now they're married. Maybe I just need to go ask a guy to dance and then if he says yes, I say, ha, oh, we're married now. Got him. <laughs> yeah, they all dance around while they consummate the marriage near the fire. Not rape if you just sleep. Um, yum, 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 yum. Wouldn't everyone's breath Ew. be fucking awful? All right, we got to sacrifice a goat before we can. <laughs> Wait, that was twenty-five years that passed. Apparently. Yep. <laughs> okay. I don't know. <laughs> I think Sonic's <laughs> might be trolling also. I was going to say, if I see that younger sister not changed at all. Also, everybody lived to the age of like 30. <laughs> also true, yeah. Actually, ancient people had good, very good hygiene. Moses lived to 150 in the Bible or something. Wow, that what a miracle. Are you sure it just wasn't some guy who said, no, I'm Moses. The other one was a fraud. Are we sure the whole thing isn't made up? <laughs> <laughs> well, Moses had very good hygiene. Ooh. The burning bush. Now... I used to be very autismo when it came to uh, Bible stories in primary school. And I always hated the story of Moses, but I loved the story of Job. Mm. Job Mama? Yeah, Job Mama. I just, the devil said to God, Hey, I bet your most faithful worshiper won't worship you if you be a dick to him. So what does God do? Oh yeah, it's just <laughs> I'm just going to make you suffer forever. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to like kill all your family, give you all the plagues. I'm going to make I'm going to give you super AIDS. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, and guys, like, it. see, he's still a cuck. <laughs> <laughs> and that's all that I am. I'm Popeye the Burning Bush. Oh. Oh. Now I'll take my shoes off. I'm trying to separate this story from, the, like, if this was an original story that wasn't attached to, like, the Bible. I think know? Moses was kissing too many sheep and started hallucinating. It's kind of just, like, a not great story. You know when people are really excited to see, like, the Suicide Squad because the character, they're like, oh, I recognize that. You know, it's, it's kind of the same shit. Land of milk and honey. Wouldn't they already have like milk where they are now? Bible fans are the original Marvel soy boys. <laughs> have you seen the Bibles? Not cinematic. Whoa, dude. <laughs> Burning bush. <laughs> <laughs> dude, it's Moses. <laughs> 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 I love all, the Bible so much. They all stood in line for hours to hear from the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> because I thought was God's argument then uh I made people disabled. What do you think I'll do to you? 
there's a it's like all the Bible stories are kind of bad, <laughs> oh, and you yeah. have to like you have to interpret them through unrealistic modern lenses to get anything <laughs> useful out of the stories. <laughs> all, like, all testament. You, you have to stretch joke. really hard to get like a good moral out of any of those stories. <laughs> you have to like ignore how how it's written. <laughs> No, not that staff, Moses. Ah! Uh, <laughs> oh. He's cooming from his eyes. <laughs> Whoa, dude, God's wrath. Take the ring off. Why have you still got the ring? It's it. This is one of those that I've experienced far too many times. Me watching a film when I was younger, yeah. not having it leave a significant impression on me in any way, and then like 20 years later, revisiting it and just being like, oh, well, still not leaving a significant impression on me. You know, I I'm kind not... of knew that this was going to happen. <laughs> Knowing It's that... happened so many times. I, just I don't... mean, their relationship's pretty fucking weak. I don't wear shoes now. And then I I floated in a cave and I got a stick. <laughs> My wife. The slavery's bad. Does that mean you'll leave me? Shut the fuck up. You're not allowed to tell me anything. You're a woman. The Bible yeah, says that. Yeah, woman. I don't remember asking you a goddamn thing. Yeah, the I like how the Bible. Is... <laughs> I like how the Bible didn't mention trans people, but people still use the Bible <laughs> against <Yeah>. trans people. <laughs> They're like, it's probably in here somewhere. <laughs> See that girl on the right? Trans. Show me in the Bible where she wasn't. The only time the Bible mentions abortion is when it tells you how to do one. Throw it down a rock? It like tells you how to perform an abortion. <laughs> they paid me a lot to be in this movie. I'm coming with you. All the daughter, the sisters are the same age. The Bible does not condemn abortion. It does not. Man, everyone in Egypt is so flat. Abortion didn't become like a Christian issue until like the mid 2000s. Was it the mid 2000s? I'm trying to think of the year. It like it it was manufactured into this wedge issue and everybody kind of just like went along with it. I don't remember what year. Maybe the eighties. I know it seems a bit, a bit like women getting more rights. I don't like that. <laughs> Why can't men have abortions? Ugh, peasants. How did they get this far? Were they just like, yeah, I'm Moses.
record those voices? Uh, Martin Short and Steve Martin. Oh, is it? Martin I, I, Short and Tall Martin. Yeah, Tall Martin and... Oh. So, Did he say are these characters Allah, interesting at all? No. Other than, like, just they're from the manga. Yeah. I, all like, I what about s- them? It's just... I don't... They I have this have thing the where, most like... relationship out of any of the characters in the movie, and it's still like, oh, you're my brother, so I forgive you, and... Oh, he said it. Oh, dude, he let he let my people go. <laughs> Whoa, I really felt chills when he said that. I'm just I I have this thing where Behold, like I can't just stick. be attached to a character just because they existed in a previous property and that's it. I guess most people don't have this thing, and I just I don't understand. It makes a huge disconnect in a lot of properties that I watch. Yeah. It makes me not co- connect with a lot of things that other people do. There's this weird, th- like, I think, like, the insistence of importance does play a huge role on some people, you know? Yeah. I think it really does. Like, the amount of people that defend Michael Jackson over, like, the shit that he did, like, the, the shit that he provably did, that, like, people wouldn't be defending anybody else over it. Like, but Michael the, Jackson the idea was- of, like, of putting someone on a pedestal as, like, this is important and establishing that can oh, really like 100% influence the way that people view a character or a real person or a piece of media, right? Like the Lion King 2019, like that's a big example, right? Like the importance of it is already predisposed. And I feel like that's the same thing the happening fairies. in like a lot of Bible stories, you know? <laughs> like <laughs> Anubis. <laughs> I'm just like I'm watching this as a, like trying to imagine it as like an independent property removed from the Bible. Oh yeah. I'm right. just like these characters are kind of shit, yeah, <laughs> and it's they, not a good story. <laughs> like it's kind of boring. <laughs> well, Moses got married to Michelle Pfeiffer, and they've only spoken like two lines to each other. Oh. Yeah. How come in, like, the world of all the cool gods, Christianity won? Afro... Is it, is it because it's easier to wait, remember one? <laughs> I think this is the only <laughs> scene I remember from The Child because there was, like, a snake part. I think that that the idea that a story is like a part of a popular mythology, it just doesn't do anything for me in terms of connecting with the story. Like I would rather better stories have been a part of mythology. It's kind of like Pinocchio, you know, people treat Pinocchio like it's a good story. Pinocchio is shit. It's just been made a lot. (laughs) Pinocchio is a shit story. It's like one of the worst stories ever made. But it's public domain, so people have made it a lot of times, and then people think it's a good story. I like how this all started because Ramsey saw a stick turn into a literal snake and was like, ah, oh, cute. Court magician, sing a number, please. <laughs> Nick. Oh, boy. Okay, this movie's now like 9 out of 10. They're big and they're boys. <laughs> oh, I get it. They are big boys. Wow, that woman face on the right was like the ending of Sleep Ah, oh, TF didn't do it. Stick. <laughs> to- 
I am a great magician. <laughs> Your clothes are black. <laughs> red clothes. Your clothes are red. Birdie. Well, he killed the snake and turned it into a stick, but in the next movie, he learns that killing snakes is bad. <laughs> He'll he'll see that one of the snakes is a friend, and he'll be like, <gasps> and run away. Let my sneeple go. I like that shot. Oh, slave. Did Ralph Fiennes go from Schindler's List to this? <laughs> I kept this ring for 30 years so I could place it dramatically. Whoa! Yes. Um. When does Ollie the Talking Donkey come in? Oh! Avada Kedavra! They're gay. That's a bit. Oh, double slaves. <laughs> <laughs> they clearly weren't working that hard then. Yeah. If they can fit in if twice you could as much. Just edge. double it. Ah. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Life uh, finds a way. Yeah, good read there, Jeff. He's gay. <laughs> Aaron <laughs> Aaron <laughs> Did he Did he just recall her name? With your ears. By punishing us. Yeah. Those are some buff slaves. The music has been good. So far, like, the first song was the best one, and I'm just like, I haven't really connected with any of them in, like, in the way that I have, like, a lot of Disney movies, you know? They're like fine. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! 
<laughs> Let my people go or you will suffer from D's. The water looks great. Oh, yeah. It looks really good in Sinbad from what I remember because uh, Eris got us up Discord. Oh, shit. Ooh. He's going to morb, sis. <laughs> Stand back. I'm going to mow his. <laughs> Is he going to pop? It's, it's having mows his... in time. <laughs> He's having his period. This is like a really... This feels like a... The, this is dumb. Oh it's my just, god! If if it wasn't something that's just supposed to happen because it's in the Bible, yeah. it would feel kind of stupid, right? <laughs> like, <laughs> oh blood! Oh, blue, blue. Let my people morb. Magic. So, like, those two clearly know that gods are bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> ah, dirt go in water, make water dirty. He peed. (laughs) (laughs) Shut up, Aaron. Based. He's not really selling them. Your butt. Your penis. Your pe- <laughs> Believe in the penis. Is that the moral? Yeah. Submit. Don't question things. Oh, I forgot about this song. It is. It- as a person that used to be religious and grew up in a religious upbringing, like just the shit that people don't realize that they say and the shit that like half of the songs, half of the hymns that you sing in church are literally just like, we are not worthy. I submit to a higher power. (laughs) Isn't that what the book of Psalms is? It's literally just half the lyrics and people don't realize it as they're saying it. It's just cult shit. It's literally just cult shit. (laughs) There's not much of like a narrative logical flow. It's just kind of like we're going to the next parts that are happening in the Bible. Yeah. We're just kind of playing... Dude, the plague. The plagues. Whoa, dude. Frogs. Nang, nang, nang. You gave me herps. <laughs> Scabies. Yeah, that water. I 
This is dumb. <laughs> yeah. Go. Oh, the way he said that, like. They're two sides of the same coin. Was that a plague? Just the statue's full? Like, imagine if... Imagine back in the day. Imagine if that wasn't a montage. (laughs) Imagine if that was playing in, like, real time and we got to actually experience any of it. But that would be too... What were you going to say? That would be too horrible and scare the children. Um, I was going to say, imagine, like... If some guy walked into your office building and was like, sorry, you gotta let all your workers go. But why? Student the sky. Bernie Sanders presidents now. Yeah. So Biden. Biden said it. Biden did it. Joe Biden won. Joe Biden. And he's communist. I don't know what you mean, Sonix. Do you give up yet? <laughs> Why didn't the plague just specifically target Ramesses? <laughs> <laughs> God could kill him if he wanted to. Why didn't he turn He's him? He's just disabled? being difficult all the time. <laughs> Why didn't? Yeah. Why didn't? Didn't God threaten to turn Moses disabled? Why didn't he turn Ramses disabled? The Bible's so fucking stupid. <laughs> Gaslighting Moses. Imagine from like age four, you're told that it's like the most important book of all time. You know? And it's just beaten into your head. You're groomed. No, you see, if a man, Christian if a man in a fetishes. dress reads uh, the hungry caterpillar to you, that's grooming. You're right, Olivia. This is religious propaganda aimed at children. <laughs> 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 this, I mean, they showed it to me in church as a child, and they were they were like, "Yo, this is the Bible, bro." <laughs> Father, I'm frightened. Oh my god, now I have a son. I think that kid's had more lines than Michelle Pfeiffer. Because you wouldn't let my people go. I am the big gay. Oh. Ramas Hills. Uh, well, more penis. More baby penises. Oh.
It was a metaphor. <laughs> oh, yeah, the baby penises are for the Christian audience. <laughs> <laughs> It's the the target demo. Why did they have to slaughter a lamb? Because otherwise, God doesn't know which doors you should plague. You could he doesn't. You wouldn't know which doors to kill if you don't kill a lamb and put the blood on the door. What if God? He doesn't said, know who's inside. What if God said just smear shit on the door and I'll know? There wouldn't be shit on the Egyptian doors. What if somebody like? Is a loner and they never got the memo. What wouldn't God know? Like, whose who responsibility his was it? Whose responsibility was it to tell everybody about it? Did they knock on every door? What if somebody was out of the house? Exactly. Came back later. This is a somebody somebody didn't get the message, probably. The plague of sudden infant death. The Sid plague. Yeah. And like also. That's a lot of lambs. <laughs> you just uh, yeah. are you gonna get more lambs? Is that like one per household? Where all the Egyptians are like, why the fuck are all these Hebrews slaughtering lambs? Yeah, it's okay when God does it. But a Pharaoh doing it, that's bad. We get it, God, you vape. Forgot to paint the window. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Oopsie. Oh, yeah. Firstborn son also. So, like, nobody's really in danger except for that boy. Oh, his life was snuffed out. I got him. Uh. Yeah, this is what the Bible teaches you. It's okay to keep, kill children of other religions as long as it's not mine. It's okay to have slaves if they're not like your people. Yeah, yeah. As long as they don't worship God, they can be your slaves. I would I argue mean, that this is more perverse than any of the other books being banned in Texas schools right now. <laughs> you know, like this is pretty fucking, this is really fucked up and stupid. Can someone edit that scene? But every time a kid dies, they play like the fart reverb sound or Master Chief dying sound. Ah! Yoda death. Yeah. From ah! Lego Star Wars. <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! so what you're saying is I can get me out of here all those other plagues were not yeah. helpful like they accomplished nothing yeah I didn't believe the other plagues but when I asked my uh my magicians to kill every firstborn. They were like, uh, no. Wouldn't Ramsey have died as well because he is the firstborn? <laughs> yeah, but, but then you, it's like, um, it's like it follows. As soon as you fuck, then you're safe. Ah. Uh, I wonder if they I'm don't gonna... count firstborns of older generations. <laughs> what is that director doing? Did they, have they done anything? I don't know. Since, I would like him to uh, under the Silver Lake. Not I. Yeah, I would have heard of it if he did. So yeah, okay. hopefully he's doing something. Yeah. David and Robert Mitchell. I gotta watch Upcoming. Yeah. Untitled Anne Hathaway and Robert Mitchell film. Anne Hathaway? 
She has a way of making my boner soft. <laughs> Yeah, is there going to be a happy song now that all the kids are dead? I'd be celebrating. And it doesn't seem to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't seem to have an effect one way or the other. It's kind of arbitrary. But now man with stick came. Why are you supposed to pray if it literally doesn't do anything? Even like according to the Bible, it doesn't do shit. <laughs> God gets off on it. God kind of just decides <sighs> like, eh, you can suffer actually. Yeah. You know what? <laughs> but if I give you something, then I've got to give everyone something. God can't tell what you're thinking or feeling unless you meditate in your own head and lull yourself into being susceptible to hearing <laughs> voices. It's just, it's so like obvious bullshit when you just understand the circumstances to make people more susceptible to hallucination and these cult like um, delusions. Like every religion has people like singing together, chanting together. So mm. many religions have people fasting. It's like, oh no, yeah. Oh, uh, you just got to starve yourself. And then you'll then you'll really have a spirit journey. Like, oh, okay, I wonder why that's happening. That reeks of like, uh, there's not enough food in the village or whatever. And then the religious leader's like, oh yes, we've got to fast to prove ourselves to God. Meanwhile, at religious leader's house, <laughs> yeah, yeah. This song won an it's Oscar. Right. You can twist it in whatever fucking way you want, but the fact that fasting exists in so many different religions is because it's a tool yeah. to make people more susceptible to hallucination. Whether or not it's conscious, whether or not people are like, hey, hey this is a thing that people will do to make them believe the religion more. That's yeah. not necessarily a part of it. It's just inevitable because just like, you know, you see which species exist right now over time. It's like, oh, those are species that had survival characteristics Religions are the same. Re the religions that exist now are ones that have survival characteristics. There's a lot of religions that existed that didn't have fasting and singing and all of these tricks to make people uh, more susceptible to the delusions. There's a lot of religions that didn't have that. They're not around today because they didn't exist over time. They didn't survive in the same way that there are traits that species can have to help help them survive over time right the ones that exist it's like an inevitability is what i'm saying it's an inevitability it is inevitable yeah is whitney houston jewish whitney I'm apparently she covered this song <laughs> <laughs> Ew. Are they just going to montage through the 40 years of wandering through the desert now? It's a bad story. It is. It's a terrible story. Yeah, we did it. Oh, the song won an Oscar? Oh, God. This is just like Christian fucking fascist propaganda. Wouldn't it be Jewish <laughs> propaganda? <laughs> it's just stupid. It's just dumb. <laughs> this movie is grooming. Can I make a movie called Adam and Steve? And win Oscars, please? I gotta see what songs they were going up against that year. <laughs> I refuse to believe that was the best. Yep.
<laughs> the, the animals drinking animations are bad every time. It's so funny. They had no references. <laughs> it looks so weird. Yeah. Should we maybe look at a goat, a sheep drinking? No, we don't have time. Ah, oh. oh, they should Still have shown the baby getting crushed. Oh, shit. I'm about to soy so hard if he parts the Red Sea. What do the horses do? Why is he like? Is he, is he seriously trying to like? Like, there's obviously a god <laughs> in this <laughs> universe, right? He's like, oh fuck, I'll fuck Moses up still. In the Bible cinematic universe. Yeah, the BCU. <laughs> Yeah, I think after Ramesses saw a literal fire tornado stopping them, he should have been like, hmm. Like, what is he? <laughs> yeah, like. Fucking. Oh, Moses filled his pockets with rocks and walks into the ocean. That'd be a great ending. Damn. That looks so good for 98. Where's his wife? My wife. <laughs> oh, it's A.A. Ron. I believe you now, Moses. This is so dumb. This is <laughs> like it's a bad story and it doesn't flow at all. <laughs> like Is Moses in fate, Sonics? It was real. Wouldn't there be all these dead fish? They're going to sacrifice those sheep later. <laughs> yeah. Leave it. What if they like kill God the can't fix that wheel. Paint blood around them in a circle. Will they? Uh... Ten Commandments is pretty epic. Well, maybe I'll watch that. Maybe it'll be a better fucking story than this shit. <laughs> I like how there was lightning <laughs> to illuminate the whale. <laughs> God was like, hey, check this out. Yeah, look what I made. <laughs> look at this one. Look what I did. Wait, isn't the Red Sea like very uh, salty or something? So you can just float. It is. Yeah. They should have just floated across. Yeah. If the Oregon Trail taught me anything, they should have just fjorded the woofer. Like, dude, there was a fire tornado. What are you doing? <laughs> like, obviously, there's a god that, like, will kill you if you just keep doing this shit. You fucking idiot. This guy is the stupidest character of all time. I fell down. Like, what the hell? How fucking far have they walked? They're so dumb. God could also... He doesn't have to wait for them all to leave to crush them in the sea. He could just crush them with part of the sea also. Yeah, what if, like... He could just close that half. <laughs> yeah. Look, he just opened up another part. I don't know what the fuck he's doing. He's just making things a little bit more tense and dramatic because he he likes the writing aspect. He's like, oh, this will be good if it was in a movie. 
Oh, there we go. There we Closing go. Finally. Ah, uh, motion. Oh, we're stupid, actually. No. Oh. Man. How did that not kill Ramses? And God made a rainbow. Yeah. <laughs> Is this before or after the Great Flood? <laughs> if it's before, that's funny because it means everything is useless up until <laughs> I think it was, God kills everything. I think it was after. I'm pretty sure the Great Flood. What happens? Pretty... What, ha what happens before the Great Flood in the Bible? All those stories that don't matter because he just kills everybody anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why you only heard of Noah. I want to watch Darren Aronofsky's Noah again. He did Noah? Some weird shit. Yeah, he did. I thought that one. was just some action movie starring Russell Crowe. I mean, it's a, it's a weird one. There's like a couple good sequences and it's not great. Oh, I haven't seen I just saw that Russell Crowe was in it. I was like, no, thanks. <laughs> It it is a weird one. Damn, someone's can we like can we get Kathleen Kennedy to be in charge of the the what what would we call it? When are they doing the live the action? GCU? The, <laughs> the what BCU, would we call it? Bible the Cinematic BCU? Bible yeah. Cinematic Okay, yeah. We can get Daisy Ridley. To be Moses. Yeah. Let my people go, isn't it? <laughs> then they'll replace all of the white Arabs with black people. <laughs> <laughs> Man, he didn't even kill him. He's got some lungs on him if he can hear him from across the sea. The guy's a fucking idiot. Everyone in this movie is so stupid. What did it... What was the point of anything? Fuck this stupid ass myth. <laughs> this mythology. It caused a lot of harm throughout history. <laughs> when are they doing a live action... <laughs> Ha ha ha. It wasn't slavery bad. She said right? like honest to God ten lines in this movie. This is shit. Yeah. Her character is kind of fucking useless. Like what did she do the entire time? <laughs> she tied up a guy for Moses to bang. Oh, you're not gonna show us the forty years of wandering around in a desert? Skip to the Ten Commandments. Okay. All right. Deliver us. This was the only good song, in my opinion. Well, the only one I connected with, really. Whoa, dude. The Ten Commandments. I dig it. I dig this song. Is this supposed to be sequel bait? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> uh, wow. Uh, Why do people like do people only soy over this movie because they're Christians? It must be. There's just a lot of Christians. I didn't see it. Jeffrey Katzenberg. I I mean, it's no wolf children. That was a bad story. Yeah. It's Jewish too. Yeah, you're right. We haven't hit the Jesus part yet. Judeo-Christian. Man, I yeah, that was like spectacularly average for me. So... 
I mean, it's exactly how I felt about it when I watched it when I was 13. It's fine. And just it's not for me and it's dumb. <laughs> I can't wait. I hope Alex I hope Alex loves a, it so I can hear the perspective fan. of someone who loves it. I hope he loved it and I can talk to him with him defending it because I would like to hear that perspective. Yeah, people have a weird I think most people are like just have this weird appeal to authority and this movie is considered a classic and if you you know you have to like it because it's a classic it was in the bible you know like i want to say some, si- some i think most people are like, just subservient like some scenes were animated <laughs> really well but then other scenes clearly not to save time to animate those other really good scenes i mean it's four years after the lion king and li- like not even comparable. Do I have to even say anything? Like they only had twelve people. The quality of the songs and the writing and the story and the animation, it's all just so much better in a movie what four years Jeff before. Right? Some weird fucking distracting voice acting performances in this movie too. Like Jesus. Like nothing even close to like it's it's very unexceptional. It was very expensive. It was very um Horses. showy. It was very I, uh it had a lot of spectacle, but it's not like some masterfully executed film. This is this is like you better fucking have something that looks like this if you spent that much money on it, right? This this that's the yeah, bare minimum. <laughs> I don't know. The music, like, if the soundtrack was garbage, no one would like this movie. I think the soundtrack really, really carries it. Deliver Us is a good song. The rest I just did not connect with. The story's shit. The story's like really, really bad. Hmm. Speaking of delivering us, I should order some characters. Some characters. Food is what I said. I don't know. I read the word character in the subtitle. <laughs> Hello, I should order Uber. some characters. I'd like some more characters <laughs> in this. I'd movie, like some please. horse animators. <laughs> <laughs> Deliver us some food. Yeah. I should get some food. Are we doing El Dorado? I don't Maybe. think I have time. I think I need to do some editing. Which sucks, but I've got it. I'm so strapped for time. I'm El Dorado is better than this. Ironically, what do you mean ironically? I feel like it's better than this unironically, I but I'll have I, to rewatch it. I think you don't know what that word means. Ironically, am I going to stream the editing? I don't. I can't. Oh, because it's for a. Ooh. thing happening in a week that I can't yeah. show before it's out. It's his first OnlyFans video. Sucks. It's it's his I trailer announcing his OnlyFans. <sighs> Only who? I'm just I'm so I have like no free time for the next three months, basically. I'm pissed. Is there another uh, uh, film festival coming up? No, just there's a lot of random shit, like just family obligations and my brother's wedding and just other shit and just that I have to fucking. Is it open bar? Yeah. It should be because he owns a bar. So if it isn't, I'd be very disappointed. It should be. Yeah. If not, I. But... If it's not open bar, just don't go. Just say uh, thoughts and prayers. <laughs> Have you guys heard of the Prince of Egypt? Watch that. I th- it, I don't think it's Backstreet Boys. I think it's Boys to Men. When are they going to make men to boys? <laughs> <laughs> I I learned that one of the boys to men uh, singers had like 
multiple sclerosis or something. And he has a cane mm-hmm. in all his videos. <laughs> I thought he was just trying to be gangster. Oh. Oh it's, yeah, that was a that me. was a terrible story. Uh yeah. It's a terrible story for babies. <laughs> Adam, <laughs> the Bible is a terrible story for babies. Yeah. It's it is like a really perverted, awful, like morally bankrupt book, you know? Oh yeah, people people are like, "Ah, oh, yes. Killing babies bad, but when I do it, it's okay." And then they look at that and go, "I'm going to base my life around this." Yeah. There's what only is... one book that should be banned. <laughs> Well, a few. Maybe ban the Quran too. Is it the ninja uh, biography? Yes. Oh, we got some quotes. Never again to the horizon of the Bible quotes. Sent it as a ruler to deliver. It's funny. Moses never got to the promised land. I mean... The Jewish people did. But oh, he shit. Died. He died while they were all wandering through the desert looking for that milk and honey. I like pissing off a new group of people every month, though. Last month it was <laughs> Indian people. So, <laughs> you, I know you were looking at it today and you were like, who can I annoy this month? I want to, I want to make mad the Christians and the Jews. Yeah. Two for one whammy. Yeah. Um, yeah. Five out of ten. Oh. Being generous, it's a generous <laughs> five out of ten. I I'm shocked you went that high. Animation's I was honestly, fine. yeah, I was honestly expecting a. Four. It should probably be a four, shouldn't it? I don't know. Yeah. I mean, if you really want people to be upset, it's just like the story shit. But then you have to like think like, okay, well, what do they what do they have to work mm-hmm. with? <laughs> the source material but then it's like why would you make a movie about a shit story well even if like the uh, the original story is just like written down and there's not much they can work off with that means they've got so much free reign to just hit the checkpoints yeah and that's what they came they could have made with. something better out of it yeah Joseph King of Dreams? No, thank you. Is that like a s- fucking spin-off? From the filmmakers of The Prince of Egypt? That's funny. That's That sounds really Ben Affleck worded. and Mark Hamill? Ben yeah. Affleck. Road to El Dorado. El Dorado. I gotta rewatch that one. Yeah. There's There's like more from the Road to El Dorado that I remember. You know? Like the girl, it left stuck. more of an impression. Hmm? Is it because there's a horse in it? Yes, <laughs> I knew it. What the fuck? Prince of Egypt is just literally just propaganda. Can't say that because it's about Christian, it's about family. Oh, yeah, it's Didn't just be... like <laughs> it's not a good story. Thank you, J-Rock. People are going to hate me for this? Well, fuck it. Whatever. Well, fuck them. Yeah, yeah. Fuck them. I'm the only based human being left. Okay? You are... Everyone else is cringe. Yeah, let let my movie reviews go. Let my movies go, Hollywood. <laughs> so much for the tolerant Christians. <laughs> <laughs> Smug face. <laughs> um I don't even care. Like when they show up in the subreddit, just say it was a bad movie. And then, yeah. <laughs> and then watch them no, it's watch just them like, struggle to understand that someone could possibly have a different experience with a movie than they did. Okay? That's all you have to do is just show that I'm not, not alone. <laughs> yeah, movie bad. But how? 
but it's the Bible, so it got to be good. All right. Um, pro- I probably won't stream anymore today or tomorrow, but I'll be back on Sunday for the Sunday stream. Um, I'm going to continue editing some stuff. Maybe, maybe I'll do a tiny stream if I order some food and it shows up here. Maybe I'll do a tiny little mukbang. Okay. Um, what are we playing on Sunday? I think we're going to try and continue Demon's Souls. Are you doing a magic run in that? Yes. I I tried to do that. I've got a new fan respect for magic uh builds in Souls games because I tried it because I thought it was it's easy. You just stand back and throw things. Hmm. But it is not. I mean there's some easy parts to it. Anyway, yeah. um Oh, yeah, it'll be with Scoot, yeah. I'll do Demon Souls with Scoot. I just, yeah, I'm just trying to finish it, so... Cause otherwise, if I if I don't do that on Sunday, then it's just never going to get finished. So, like, yeah, we're coming closer and closer to the point in time where I have to figure out what I'm going to play Elden Ring on. I don't know why, like... I feel like PC is a mistake, because... Why is that? Well, because then I won't be able to do it as easily on my in my Vancouver setup. I would oh. have to bring in another PC to hook up to stream because on this setup I have two PCs in Atlanta. My Vancouver setup I have one PC and I do have another one that I can stream with, but I just have to like I would have to bring it up every Sunday and it's just kind of annoying like I don't know, maybe. I'm thinking about it. Well, I don't I'm thinking about Xbox. Yeah, okay. I'll just have I'll look at some video comparisons or something. I don't know. I was gonna Whatever say Xbox or PS5. Surely they're sixty, aren't they? I don't know. PC is unstable. 